This channel is all about unleashing your scientific imagination while learning some science facts along the way. We're gonna dive into various hypothetical scenarios, it's gonna be a surface level sometimes, our deep dive, but it will be fun to gradually expand our knowledge in that kind of way. So, how about we start with a hypothetical scenario about the Earth's rotation? What if the Earth suddenly stopped spinning? Well, according to Newton's laws, almost everything on Earth would be launched eastward at over 1,000 miles per hour. And when those objects eventually fall back to Earth, you can imagine the chaos, right? But what if it slowed down gradually instead of coming to a sudden halt? Well, for starters, days and nights would get crazily longer. Like, imagine six months of daylight followed by six months of darkness. Daytime would be scorching hot, while nighttime would be freezing cold. Plus, we'd be dealing with insane winds due to massive temperature and pressure differences. Picture a hurricane the size of a continent. Some scientists even speculate that if Earth's rotation stopped, we'd lose our magnetic field. That means we'd be exposed to space radiation, making it impossible for life to thrive. And say goodbye to those beautiful auroras. But no need to panic just yet. Earth's rotation is gradually slowing down as it is, but at a super slow rate. Like, we're talking one second slower every 100,000 years. So, we've got about 7.5 billion years until it completely stops. That gives our future generations plenty of time to come up with a solution. Alright, so what if Earth started spinning twice as fast? We're not talking about some sudden speed boost that spells doom for humanity. Let's just imagine its speed gradually doubling. First off, a day would become 12 hours long. Unless we extend a week to 14 days, you'd be experiencing the miracle of going to work in the morning and coming back the next morning. But that's the least of our worries. The centrifugal force at the equator would counteract gravity, making you feel lighter. But don't worry about being flung off into space. To completely offset Earth's gravity with centrifugal force, the planet would need to rotate at least 20 times faster than it does now. The equator would be whizzing around at 2,000 miles per hour instead of the current 1,000. And the difference in centrifugal force between the equator and the poles would become more pronounced. This could cause ocean waters to shift toward the equator, submerging most lands near it, except for really high mountains. It's not just the oceans. Over time, Earth's crust might also start shifting towards the equator. We'd have to redraw the world map. Future generations might ask, were there really seven continents back in the day? Additionally, the flow in Earth's outer core would change, affecting the magnetic field. If Earth's rotation sped up, the magnetic field might actually strengthen instead of weaken like if it stopped. This could mess with satellite signals, and your trusty GPS might go on the fritz. Just when you thought paper maps were a thing of the past, they might make a comeback for long-distance trips. But don't worry, Earth is actually slowing down very, very gradually. Unless there's a major change, the Earth's rotation isn't likely to speed up, so you can rest easy. So we've been thinking about Earth's rotation, but how about we unleash our imagination on the sun? What if the sun suddenly turned into a black hole? How would that affect Earth's rotation and orbit? I mean, just the name, black hole, makes it sound like the sun would just suck in all the planets around it, right? But here's the thing, even if the sun became a black hole, its mass wouldn't change, so Earth would keep orbiting the sun turned black hole. Our galaxy's got a black hole at its center, and our solar system orbits around it too. Same deal. The real problem lies in the fact that the sun would no longer emit light. The energy Earth receives from the sun is massive. Without sunlight, temperatures would plummet. The moment sunlight stops reaching Earth, the surface temperature would start dropping rapidly. In the first week, the average temperature could fall to around 0 degrees Celsius. And after a year, it might plummet to minus 50 degrees Celsius, with long-term estimates dropping below minus 100 degrees Celsius. There would be numerous other issues, but just the change in Earth's temperature alone would make it almost impossible for life to survive. Luckily, the sun has about 5 billion years left, and it's too small and light to become a black hole anyway. By the way, calculating the size needed to become a black hole isn't all that complicated. The formula goes something like this, but you don't really need to memorize it. You can just plug in some values you know, and it'll give you an estimate. It turns out, the sun becomes a black hole if something gets a radius of about 3 kilometers, or 1.864 miles. Just to put it in perspective, Earth would need to shrink down to the size of a baseball to become a black hole. And in reality, shrinking Earth or the Sun down to that size is pretty much impossible. Let's be grateful for Earth's prime location in the solar system. 